the family that prays together stays together. Welcome to today's program, Doctrinal Reflection. Today's theme is the ascension of our Lord, as is recorded in Luke chapter 24, 50 to 55, and Mark 16, 19 to 20. In life, we make choices. We choose one over the other. For example, if you are to choose between incomplete payment and complete payment, between departure and arrival, between birth and death, or goodbye and hello, our choice will be very simple. We will choose full payment because it brings happiness. We will choose arrival because it brings joy. We will choose new beginning. We will choose birth over death, complete over incomplete. But today, we are reminded uh, that there are lessons we can learn from incompleteness, in departure, in goodbyes, lesson in separation. Ascension of our Lord is essentially a goodbye, is a departure, is essentially an end to many. The pain of separation, the pain of being incomplete at the scene of the ascension. Remember the disciples are 11, they are no longer 12. And this is a reminder of the perpetual unfaithfulness of the disciple that is not in this scene. What can we pick from the scene of ascension as a lesson to cling on? Number one, the assurance that heaven is a better place than earth. While we read in Genesis chapter 1, in the creation story, that everything that God created was good, and that man was very good. The ascension of Christ is an assurance of heaven being a better place, being a perfect home. Jesus assures us that in my Father's house there are many rooms, and an assurance of our destiny, that the grave is not our end for the faithful one, that our destination is life everlasting in the Father's house. The second lesson we take home is of evangelization, that evangelization is solely our responsibility. If Jesus remained on earth, it will mean that the responsibility of evangelization will lay solely on him. And that's why in Matthew 28, 19, he says, go forth into the whole world. The responsibility of evangelization is for you and for me. The incompleteness of the apostles, all the disciples, at the scene of the ascension, calls for you and me to feel that incompleteness, to take the place of the 12th disciple, to take your place of evangelization, and to evangelize at every place, at work, at home, in the church, everywhere, to every creature, to every nation. The third lesson we learn is that Jesus, in his hypostatic nature, is still God. In the letter to the Philippians, Paul writes in chapter 2, verse 5 to 11, we read about Jesus emptying himself, that though he was in the form of God, he took a form of man. And that's why he lived here on earth with us. In the scene of the ascension, in Mark 19, Mark 16, 19, he says that Jesus was not only taken up, but he is now seated at the right hand. To mean that while he had emptied himself and humbled himself and took the form of man, now the ascension returns the glory that he had before. This implies that while taking a form of man and implying himself to be a slave and to die and even die on a cross, now he returns to the form of God that through humility he had denounced. The salvation of man that had cost God in John 3.16 3, out of love to save man. 
This is an assurance of Jesus being truly God, being truly the second person in the Trinity. The most important lesson are the lessons we learn in separation, in pain, and in departures. The ascension is no difference. We learn of Jesus being truly God. We learn that evangelization is solely our responsibility and that our home, our perfect home, is in heaven. May we, after this earthly pilgrimage, be found worthy of the heavenly kingdom. The family that prays together stays together.